I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw floating shamrocks. I come way over here on the right hand side, put three fingers and a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a curve line up, down, come back to the dot, curve line up, down, and leave it floating. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a curve line out, in, curve line out, up, and leave it floating. Come over to the right hand side, curve line out, in, out, up, and leave it floating. Now come to this point on the left and we're just going to draw a slightly curved line out, little curved line over, slightly curved line up, connect. Right here we're going to put one, two dots, and a curved line. Now let's come over here, put a dot, we're going to draw a curved line up, down, come back to the dot, curve line up, down, and leave it floating. Come over to the left, curve line out, in, out, up. Jump over to the right, curve line out, in, curve line out, up. Come to the left, slightly curve line down, little curve line over, slightly curve line up, connect. Come inside and put one dot, two dots, and a curve line. Now come over here to the bottom right, put a dot, curve line up, in, leave it floating, come back to the dot, Curve line out, in, leave it floating. Come over to the left, curve line out, in, out, up, leave it floating. Come over on the right, curve line out, in, out, up, and leave it floating. Now come over to the left, slightly curve line down, slightly curve line over, slightly curve line up, connect. Right here, one dot, two dots, curve line. Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, because I don't want to lose these cute little faces on my shamrocks, I'm going to use my light green and loop-de-loop -loop the inside space as best I can. It's okay if you go outside of the lines, but try and stay in. Keep going. Keep going. Now I use a circular loop-de-loop -loop line to kind of give it a little bit of texture and also so it doesn't make my hand hurt when I'm coloring in these floating shamrocks. Keep going. There we go. Now to add another pop of color, I'm going to take my orange crayon and I'm just going to draw straight lines down. Jump over, don't draw through your drawing in the background of my floating shamrocks. Now this is important to not draw through your drawing and to learn how to jump over and continue your lines all the way to the bottom. Okay? Maybe one more. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. 
Okay, here are my floating shamrocks all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.